guys, how's everybody doing today? Good, cause your girl is back with another quick video. So today you guys, we're gonna make some pork country style smothered short ribs. So if you're ready for this video, go get your snack and come on back. So guys, how's everybody doing today? Good, because we're back and we are in effect, okay? So I would like to thank everyone that showed my channel some love. Thank you for my new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. And yes, I hope this content is good enough to help stick you around and maybe you can find something that you can enjoy out of this content. So yes, today we're going to make us some smothered country spare pork pork spare ribs okay so it's so easy to make and hey I love oven baked foods it's just me so now what we're gonna start off with is some kefir original all-purpose seasoning and we're just gonna season these on up just like so mm -hmm. cause we gotta get them oven ready right so I have a new flavor which is barbecue barrel okay pork barrel seasoning and so yeah your girl is gonna go on and sample this and I'd like to give a shout out to Miss Joanne from shipping me this seasoning and yeah so we just gonna put that on there as well little paprika for flavor which we already got a lot of flavors going on. Okay. I'm going to put a little extra black pepper on here. Not nothing major. Now I know you're saying to yourself, she putting all that seasoning on one side. That's because I'm going to give it a rub and give it its love. Okay. And we, let's not forget the meat tenderizer. Now if I had soy sauce, I would go with that. But I didn't do a marinade on this. Right, because your girl, you know, she just didn't do it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically get all this seasoning right front and back. That's what we're gonna do front and back. Now, I know you said to yourself, I don't know, but Miss T is not gonna give you nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. Why? Because I wouldn't give you something I wouldn't need. We're just gonna put it just like that on there. Because you gotta have all day in the kitchen. So that's why we are going for oven bake, you guys. We're going for oven bake. And we're gonna put all that love on there and just like so. Now I like my fat. So yeah, we got enough seasoning on that. So Let's make sure this side. And that was just quick and simple, you guys. Quick and simple. Let me wash my hands. And we're going to sit there. Uh oh. Oops, I'm sorry, you guys. We're going to go here. And we got our pan right here, our trusty pan. And I'm just going to spray this lightly. Okay. Because now our next step is we're going to put the short ribs right on in this pan. Oh. You know, sometimes it slips, okay. But it's okay. And we're just going to lay them just like that. One up on the other one. Why? Because they're going to shrink. They're going to shrink. Oh, 
Oh, oh. They want to jump. We're just going to lay that just like that. Now, believe it or not, these are not going to really, like, dry out. But we are going to put a little juice around them. And we're going to slow bake them. Just like that. Mm -hmm. So what we have here is some big onions that I have chopped up. And we're just going to put them right on top, just like that. And get all these flavors mended together. And if I'm talking kind of low, it's because my Carter is in school. And he's sitting across from me. So, yeah. We got a multitask around here now. So, I know some of your parents understand. wash my hands so I don't have the pork broth well you know I don't know if they make pork <laughs> broth but anywho we have some chicken broth that I am using. Cause basically this is two steps. And yeah, I poured it on my pan because I'm getting all of my seasoning off here. And I'm just gonna pour it just like so. Just like that to get all my seasoning off. And we're gonna slide this in the oven. And it should take approximately about, I'm gonna say two hours. don't need it tightly we just need to cover it and so yeah we're gonna slide this in the oven for approximately two hours and we'll be back you guys so yeah there you have it now these are my ribs you can use this recipe in any see how tender that is you guys, that is very tender. Mm, mm, mm. You can use this recipe in any crock pot, slow cooker, any one of them. I poured the uh, some of the juices off. So now I'm going to put this right back in the oven. You guys. And if you're wondering how did I make that gravy, you guys, don't forget, go over and check out the gravy video. You guys, you would definitely love the recipe. You could use your own seasoning as well. But we're going to slide these right back in the oven and you, you will see the finishing touches of this recipe. Let me put some parsley on there for I, uh, that way I can bake it right on in it while it's, you know, good and ready. Okay, so we'll, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so yes, that is it. And that is my take on country spare ribs. Country uh, pork spare ribs, it is. Mm. 
Yes, that is my take, you guys. Check out this gravy. Oh my goodness. The ribs are so tender. Let me get down in here and get this over here. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at the deliciousness going on in this dish. Okay. You guys, this is so easy, simple to make. You can make it in your crock pot. It all depends on the time that you have if you want to throw it in your crock pot. And I guarantee you over some rice or mashed potatoes. And that's what your girl have to go with this particular meal. Let's go in here for this bite because there will go a piece of tender meat that broke off. And yes, you guys, there you go. There go your bite. Let me reach over here and cut this oven off, you guys. So we have some, uh, what is it, balsamic rice to go with it. Oh, let's see. Let me get me some of this rice right quick. Put a, mm -mm. Wait a minute, y'all. I'm messing up. <laughs> Wait a minute. And we have us uh, some green beans. Let me sit this down for a quick second. Because I want to put some of this gravy over this boom of rice. Oh, yeah. Look at that bite. Mm-hmm. You guys see that rice? Yeah, we have some um, authentic balsamic rice that I prepare with it. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Perfect match. Look how tender that meat is. Like I said, you guys can make this so easy. Mmm. We also have some green beans over here. You know, the cook always has to sample the meal, right? Let's push that on in here. Let's pick up some green beans up. So we have some fresh green beans with sauteed onions that's also with the dinner but you can check out the video on how I made this gravy which will be following behind this meal mm. Mm -mm. Everything is on point. Everything is seasoned well. It's not too salty. Follow these through uh, simple steps and I guarantee you, you will have a delicious meal that the family can enjoy. And yes, share this video out, out with any and everyone. Let them know what your girl is doing on this channel. And yes, thumbs me up. Let YouTube know that I am doing a good job over here, you guys. Especially if you really appreciate the videos, thumbs it straight up, subscribe to the channel, and yes, thanks everyone that joined this family and still riding with me. I really appreciate you guys so, so much. And until the next video, take care, stay prayed up, and yes, I'll see you over on your channels. Bye-bye.